Hey Virgo, what's up? I hope you're all really, really well. So this is going to be your general love reading for mid-February to the end of February 2022. And it will be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Virgo. And because it's general, it's not going to resonate for all of you. You can check out one of your other signs if you would like though, or you can book a personal reading with me. All that information is in the description box. And also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, so Virgo, <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what is going on for you. Second half of February. All right, so for the situation, we have the Three of Cups crossed by the Hermit. Let's see, for your energy, the Six of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. For them, we have... The Three of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune, and the potential outcome here, we have the Hierophant. All right, so, all right, let's see. We do have your <clears throat> element showing up here with the Hermit for the main situation. Um, what is this about, Virgo? It's like there's... There's this essence of wanting to bring something together or of wanting to make things a little bit happier or possibly even a reconciliation. Um, but I feel like somebody, either you or them, are kind of keeping to themselves. It almost feels like it's like it's you, but we'll see. We'll see when we clarify. Um, <clears throat> so for you, with the Six of Pentacles, King of Wands, and the Knight of Cups, I feel like you're trying to be the bigger person in some way. I feel like you are really open to um, a reconnecting with this person. I feel like you might even be um, not necessarily going after this person, but I feel like you might be giving some signs to this person or some gestures or maybe even just, you know, really expressing this, that you would want this. Um, <clears throat> and it also comes in as you actually putting your ego to the side in order, in order to do this. Um, for them, Three of Swords, Page of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, they're hurting right now. They're in a lot of pain. I'm not so sure that they're showing it though. Um, with the Page of Pentacles, I feel like they're not really um, interacting much with you. It could be that they're giving you a little bit, but not not really, which is why I'm saying that you might not be aware of how this person is truly feeling. However, I do see there being a shift. Um, there, something is turning. Something is changing here. And we'll find out what that is once we clarify. So for the Hierophant being the, um, the potential outcome here, that's all about a commitment. It could even be about like a major lesson. But I'm seeing it more, and that's also Taurus energy. Um, I'm seeing it more of something just becoming more mature. So let's see, let's clarify. Let's see this Three of Cups with the Hermit. All right, we have the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, it's like, I feel like you're both really wanting this. You're both really wanting to either make up if there has been some kind of a, a fallout or a disagreement. Um, there's like this big wish, right, for you to just be happy and for things to just be light and, you know, not heavy. And it does feel like somebody is really putting in, putting in that effort. And I feel like it's mostly you, to be honest. Um... I feel like for the other person here, because it feels like it's them possibly holding back, kind of keeping to their own self, okay, unless the roles are reversed. Um, there is something that's happening underneath all of that. There is movement here. There is focus. There is something. I just feel like the one of you is just more open about it, like showing, and I feel like that's you. 
um, <clears throat> what it is that you would want or, you know, what it is that you're working towards. Even if it's just what you're working on on your own self, whereas the other person is kind of holding back. And again, I do feel like it's like you put your ego to the side, possibly hoping that by you doing that, that they would kind of, that that would soften them up and, and help them to do the same. Um, but I feel like they're not, they're not there just yet. But let's see, because something is shifting. Um, <clears throat> but first, yeah, let's see your energy here. That Six of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Swords, Temperance, I will get one more. The Page of Pentacles. Interesting, because they also have the, the Page of Pentacles. Um, so I feel like actually that's more of like your response to them. Again, I mean, there's we do have the Eight of Swords, so it does feel like there might be a little bit of some kind of an insecurity or some kind of a fear. That's how I'm getting this. I don't know if it's overanalyzing, to be honest with you. It could be. It could be, but I'm mostly seeing it as there being some kind of, of fear of possibly this <clears throat> not really working out. And so I do feel like you're healing that though with temperance. And it's like because of that, because you're healing whatever those fears were or if there was any like, you know, overanalyzing to the point where it was kind of creating some kind of an imbalance, this has helped you to just, you know, put that to the side. And like I said, it's like being the bigger person, like, you know what, here, I'll share first. Or, you know, I'll back off first. Something like that. Um, which is taking, a, it's, it's requiring a lot of patience from you in order to do that and a lot of like, you know, calm and finding that inner balance in order for you to be able to respond in this way, but, but you're doing it. So I feel like it's, it's a response um, that you're putting out to them being that page of pentacles. All right, let's see that King of Wands. We have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, you're hoping for, for a reconnection here. And it does, again, it's like, you know, you're, you're not allowing ego to get in the way. You're just like, you know what? I can overcome this. Whatever your fears were, it's like you're completely like conquering them, putting them to the side. Because to you, whatever, whatever goal you have that you're thinking of, it's more important. It's more important and it's like, you know, the, you're doing what you feel like um, you should do in order to move in that direction. And then, you know, what the other person does, well, that's, that's up to them. Let's see that Knight of Cups. Two cards for the Knight of Cups. Four of Wands and the Star. Yeah, you know, you're wanting this commitment. <clears throat> you're really, this is like your wish, right? This is what you would want but you want it to be stable. You want it to be 100% um, secure, committed, stable, all of those things. So again, I'm not really sure if you're waiting for the other person to come in in that way or if you are the one moving in that direction. Either way, I'm seeing very positive energy on your side, you're healing regardless, you're finding stability within your own self first and that's actually the most important. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Let's see what's going on with them. Let's see this Three of Swords. The Seven of Swords, the Hanged Man, and the Page of Cups. Yeah, this person is definitely hiding how they're feeling. The pain that they're in with that Seven of Swords. Um, they're, they're even trying to sneak away from it. I feel like they're just trying to sneak away or avoid the situation or avoid the pain. They can't, they can't, all right? The feelings are there, the emotions are there, what they're feeling is there. And there is no escaping that. However, they are being deceptive in the sense that they're not fully being um, open about how it is that they're feeling. So it could be that they're feeling so hurt or they're feeling so much pain that it's just very difficult for them to actually verbalize it. 
it's like they're holding back. They're holding back from expressing their, their pain at the moment. Let's see the Page of Pentacles. Justice and the Seven of Pentacles. All right, so Libra showing up. Um, <clears throat> so they're, oh, okay. So they are putting in some effort, but it feels like the way that they're doing this is like, yeah, so they're not expressing their pain, but I feel like they're giving to you um, just enough to keep this from closing out completely, right? They're, it's like they're giving you just enough to kind of keep things going in a certain direction. Like planting the seeds, not going all out in hopes that, you know, somehow, some way, things will be fixed or things will be right or that, you know, some decision will be made here that will lead to that Three of Cups. But it's almost like they don't want to take full responsibility for it. Um, <clears throat> almost like they're not ready to. Hmm. I do feel like it might be a little bit of an ego thing that's holding them back for some of them. For others of them, it could be way more complicated, just like a whole bunch of other factors involved. But I feel like, yeah, that's what they're doing. They're giving just a little bit, um, hoping that things will eventually turn out in the, the right way. For some of them, they might even, you know, they might still be trying to avoid... Um, Accepting what is the right decision, right? Kind of like almost like hoping that somebody will make the decision a decision for them and That it will just kind of happen like things will just magically work out and that's why the wheel of fortune is there However at the same time though, there is a shift. So let's see that wheel of fortune The chariot the ten of cups and the two of cups. All right. Wow Wow, I mean look at that shift um I feel like it's going to, when it does happen, it's going to happen really fast. It's like just suddenly changing directions. And I feel like, you know, once that happens, once they suddenly change directions, it's just moving towards this Ten of Cups and Two of Cups. I mean, that's love. So, I mean, I don't know if that's actually, you know, playing out in this time span, um, but the shift is, the shift in that direction is, is taking place here. And what that's going to lead to, at least eventually, is that Ten of Cups and that Two of Cups. Or at least that's the trajectory of this, of this shift. But I feel like at the moment, though, um, yeah, this person is... Like I said, not giving much. They're giving just a little bit and hiding some pain that they're feeling here. So let's see that Hierophant for the potential outcome. The Ace of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Fool. Yeah. Um, this is movement towards a commitment. And again, it's going to be sudden. I feel like it's going to be sudden and unexpected. And it's almost like, you know, it feels like once once this happens, it's like there's no turning back. I'm even getting that. Um, what's interesting is that I do feel like it might be this person um, who is ultimately coming in, right? Because it's like they're the ones changing the direction of things here. And 
it, it almost feels like you might be the one who's not really um, as open when the, that time comes because I feel like you're open now, but I do see a little bit of resistance here and I, it doesn't feel like it's going to be on their side. And it could just be that you're setting some some boundaries, right? Um, like, you know, this person is making a shift. They're taking like this. They're making a U-turn towards this, right? Um, things just becoming more mature. I see like a more mature attitude coming from them. But I feel like, by, you know, by then you might be a little bit like, okay, you know what? Slow down a little bit. <laughs> kind of like that. So we'll see. Well, you'll see. All right, Virgo. So if this resonated, the final message for you is we have begin now. Take your first step. Take that as it resonates. If you feel like it's a message for you. I definitely feel like for the other person, they're definitely taking some steps, very small ones at the moment, but there's going to be a bigger step um, at some point coming up. All right, Virgo, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.